Hello aspirants, welcome to Law Excellence. In this session, we will be dealing with current affairs for the beginners from the Hindu newspaper. Before going into today's articles, let us see the questions which are given yesterday. The first question is, India's longest rail come road bridge, Bogibil, will come up over which river? For this, the answer is Brahmaputra. This is recently in news which is inaugurated by Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi. So, the answer is Brahmaputra. Coming to the second question, which of the following products were under the purview of GST? Let us see the options. Alcohol, Cosmotics, Fertilizers. Cosmotics and Fertilizers are under the GST slabs, whereas alcohol and some petroleum products are not under GST slabs. So, the answer here is 2 and 3. After eliminating alcohol, we can say 2 and 3 is the only correct option here. Coming to the first article, Chabar Tiding. This article comes under General Studies Paper 2 under International Relations. Chabar Port is located in Marakan Coast that is southeastern of Iran. It is open to Gulf of Oman. It is the only Iranian port with direct access to the ocean. Let us see what is the use of this port to India. India believes that this port is critical to its interests and wants to develop it as a counter to Pakistan's Gwadar port which is only 72 kilometers away from the Chabar port. This port will allow India to bypass Pakistan to transport goods to Afghanistan and Central Asia using a sea route. To increase the maritime commerce, this Chabar port is very important to India. It also provides opportunities to Indian companies to penetrate and enhance their business into this region as well as West Asia. From this port, we can access the Dalaram Jarang Highway, which is a key route to Afghanistan. This is also known as the Garland Highway, which is funded by India. From Chabad to Jarang, it is a railway, and from that, Jarang to Dalaram, it is a highway, and from here, it is a Garland Road. The cities which connects this Garland Road is Kandahar, Kabul, Herat, and Dalaram. And the port will boost India's access to INSTC, which is also known as International North South Transport Corridor. Coming to the next article, PM opens Bogi Bill Bridge. India's longest. This article comes under General Studies Paper 3 under Infrastructure. The length of the bridge is 4.94 kilometers. This is the longest rail come road bridge in India. It connects Dibrugarh district on the river's south bank in Assam to Demaji district on the north bank. This project was first conceived by the Rail India Technical economic services in 1973. The bridge is on the river Brahmaputra. In this context, we will see one more bridge which is located in northeast. That is Bhupen Hajarika Bridge which is located on Lohit River is the longest river bridge in India. This bridge is also known as Dhola Sadia Bridge. The length of the bridge is almost 9.2 kilometers. Coming to the next article, this article deals with Tista River Agreement. This article comes under General Studies Paper 2 under International Relations. The Tista River dispute is frequently in use whenever there is a meeting between India and Bangladesh officials. The Tista River is the fourth largest transboundary river between India and Bangladesh after Ganga, 
ब्रह्मपुत्र एंड मेघना रिवर सिस्टम्स द लेंथ ऑफ द रिवर इज फोर फोर्टीन किलोमीटर्स इन इंडिया इट फ्लोज थ्रू सिक्किम एंड वेस्ट बंगाल फर्स्ट ऑफ आल वी हैव टू सी वॉट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ तीस्ता रिवर फॉर बोथ बांग्लादेश एंड इंडिया फॉर वेस्ट बंगाल तीस्ता इज द लाइफ लाइन टू नॉर्थ बंगाल एंड आलमोस्ट हाफ ए डजन ऑफ डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ वेस्ट बंगाल आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन तीस्ता रिवर वाटर एंड फॉर बांग्लादेश ऑल्सो दिस रिवर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आलमोस्ट फोर्टीन पर्सेंट ऑफ द टोटल क्रॉप एरिया ऑफ बांग्लादेश इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन तीस्ता रिवर अकॉर्डिंग टू नाइनटीन एटी फोर जे आर सी द शेयर ऑफ इंडिया इज फोर्टी टू पॉइंट फाइव पर्सेंट बांग्लादेश इज थर्टी सेवन फाइव पर्सेंट एंड द अन अलोकेटेड शेयर इज ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट द मेन इश्यू हेयर इज बांग्लादेश इज डिमांडिंग मोर वाटर फ्रॉम द तीस्ता रिवर बट द वेस्ट बंगाल एंड सिक्किम स्टेट्स आर अपोजिंग दिस डिमांड द मेन ऑब्जेक्शन फ्रॉम द वेस्ट बंगाल आर एनी एक्स्ट्रा वाटर शेयरिंग टू बांग्लादेश विल हेम्पर द इरीगेशन सिस्टम इन द वेस्ट बंगाल एंड द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ हाइड्रो पवर विल आलो डिक्रीज एंड वन मोर थिंग इज मेनी ऑफ द ग्लैशियर्स इन दीस्ता वाटर बेसिन आर रिट्रीटिंग इन फ्यूचर इट मे लीड्स टू शॉर्टेज ऑफ वाटर इन तीस्ता रिवर Let us see what is the stand of Bangladesh on Tista River dispute. It is saying India is already enjoying majority of the share of river water. It is asking to increase the share of Tista's water. In the dry season also, Bangladesh demanding more share. Let us see what can be done by India to address this dispute. since bangladesh is a significant neighbor for india it is strategically important the cooperation between these two countries is crucial for the harmony in the region india needs to take proactive steps for early conclusion of the tista agreement coming to the next article this article deals with regulation on social media This comes under General Studies Paper Three under Cyber Security. The Electronics and IT Ministry published the draft rules for public consultation, which mandates platforms to publish rules, regulations, and privacy policies for users to access their services. We have to see one thing here: there is a difference between bill and draft bill. Similarly. there is difference between draft rules and the final rules the draft rules are issued first in a draft form to allow them to be looked detail before they are introduced they are usually examined by a expert committee and the suggestions from the public also will be considered from this article we will see what is social media social media can be defined as any web or mobile based platform that enables an individual or agency to communicate interactively and enable exchange of user generated content the advantages of social media are so many but in recent times they are posing threat to internal security in various forms like cyber terrorism frauds crime and spreading violence etc and one of the emerging risk is the spread of false information through social media so to regulate this content on the social media government recently gave some draft rules after after the consultation with the various groups this rules will be implemented coming to the next article this article deals with the life of rta activist in bihar let us see what is meant by an rti activist rti activist is someone who works to make information available to the general population they are people who are driven by passion and keen to share information more widely that means they are the people who see the need for change and improvement on a large scale 
inside the government. In recent times, these people are regularly been victimized for exposing wrongdoings in public offices. In Bihar itself, almost five of them are killed in 2018 alone. Most of the cases of victimization involves information related to issues of larger public interest and as well as government schemes. Coming to the next article, it deals with foreign fund. This article comes under General Studies Paper 3 under Economy. From this article, we will see what is Foreign Direct Investments FDI and what is Foreign Portfolio Investment that is FPI. FPI and FDI are the two important forms of foreign capital. The main difference between these two is while the FDI aims to take control of the company in which its investments is made but FPI aims to gain profits by investing in a shares share market. According to the existing regulations by the SEBI, FPI cannot be more than 10%. Any investment above 10% is considered as FDI. From then, the foreign investor can exert control in the management of the company. I have to be clear that FDI and FPI are different from the external commercial borrowings. For the commercial borrowings, we have to repay the amount, whereas for the FDI, we need not pay the debt. Let us see the difference between FDI and FPI. FDI means real investment whereas FPI is a monetary or financial investment. The investor mainly invests in buildings and machineries directly in the company. Whereas FPI doesn't create such productive asset creation directly. It is just a financial investment. Compared to the FDI, FPI is more fluctuating. Whenever the investor is getting more profit, he will take back his investment along with the pro profit. Generally, FDI is considered as superior to FPI. Let us come to the next article. India to hold tax with RCEP nations. From this article, we will see what is RCEP. RCEP is Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. It is a proposed free trade agreement between the countries of ASEAN and six other countries. The ASEAN countries are Myanmar, Thailand, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, Cambodia, Philippines, Laos and Vietnam. The six other countries are China, India, South Korea, Japan, Australia and New Zealand. So ASEAN plus 6. This is a proposed trade block that is known as RCEP. What is the potential of this RCEP? The total GDP of the combined states are 49.5 billion US dollars. In future, it may go to $100 billion also. RCEP will cover trade in goods, trade in services, investments, technical cooperation, intellectual property rights and dispute settlement mechanisms also. For any country or any trade block, we have to see what is the importance of that country or trade block with respect to India. Let us see what is the importance of RCEP for India. The RCEP provides an opportunity for the success of India's act-east policy. In recent times, with the individual countries in the ASEAN and RCEP block, the trade is increasing. This shows the importance of RCEP to India. The RCEP agreement would complement India's existing FTAs with the Asian nations and the some of its member countries like South Korea, Japan and Australia. It will give access to India to vast regional markets of 
these countries so thereby it will help the indian economy to grow if rcep comes into existence india will enjoy a comparative advantage in areas such as it enabled services healthcare sector and educational services also with this it can attract more fdi into india let us see some of the concerns with the member countries greater access to chinese goods may have impact on indian manufacturing sector we have to see one thing here is that india has got a massive trade deficit with china under this circumstances if an fti is there between india and rcep the indian markets will be flooded by chinese goods the countries like australia singapore are not willing to allow indian workers and their free mobility in their countries that's it for today guys let us see some questions consider the following statements about chabar port chabar port lies in gulf of aden chabar port is located on the moroccan coast we have discussed this thing in the video so please answer this question and put your answer in the comment box let us see the second question the term rcep is often appears in the news which is related to options are g20 asean sco sarc we have discussed even this thing in the class so please answer this and post your answer in the comment box this is our likes civil script official website and this is the telegram channel please follow this channel where you can access videos and material for the preparation thank you so much guys